Bah. Ooh, period. Hi everyone. Oh, this video has been long in the making. Long. A long time, bitch. That was in the frame. We don't want that in the frame. Okay, so. I moved, so I'm like trying to like reset up my filming situation. I just did this full beat. Oh, this is full glam. Oh, oh. And I'm here and I want to tell you about some products that didn't make the cut to the move. When I say this, I didn't have time to film it before we moved. So they came within the move. <laughs> but they're products that I'm okay with not keeping. Like comparatively speaking to all the products I have, I'm like, these just don't make the cut. They're not giving. Okay, so first product, the CoverGirl Clean Eyeshadow Quad. Like we see that, we see that, right? Super pretty, formula's nice. Do I need another quad of brown eyeshadows? No, I really don't. Honestly, I wish they were a little bit lighter, like there was a more like bright shade. Like I do feel like the two matte shades in this palette kind of, I don't wanna say junk up, but they kind of like mesh together really quickly. It's not giving. Okay, the next product that just didn't make the cut. <sighs> so it's a, it's the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. My friend went through all of her makeup and she found this one, which, I don't know, I'm having second thoughts. It's got like a shimmery base to it. And I was like, that's pretty. Like I, like I kind of want it. And she was getting rid of it. And I was like, I'll take it. I've had it for a few weeks, if not months. I haven't touched it, babes. Don't need it. Don't want it. Don't need it in this life. Ooh, these are the e.l.f. The like gamer techno collection. These lighters were so nice, but I feel like there was something I didn't like about them. They weren't like buildable. Like they're really nice gel liners for the price, but that you like, I feel like when you went over the same area twice, they just weren't giving. For that reason, they're gone. The next items, okay. Oh, okay, so the LA Girl Glide Eyeliner. So this is in a shimmery shade. It's a really pretty shade. I just like, don't have a need for it. Like, it's just not... This is the Makeup Revolution freckle, like faux freckle thing. I don't think I liked it. Like, I think I used it over powder and it just kind of looked like shit. The other CoverGirl Clean. These shades, they're just like, not quite giving to me, but I know like my mom would eat them up. She would enjoy the fuck out of them. Her favorite eyeshadow palette is the Urban Decay Naked Heat, I think. Like, I think she's gotten like a Naked Heat mini for like when she travels. That's just her girl. The Essence Keep Me Covered Foundation. This was so disgusting. It was just so bad. It was like really thin. The shade range sucked. All of them are really, really, really yellow undertone. Like it's giving jaundice. I was not into it, not one bit. Controversially, the next item. The L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. The mascara that started all problems. It's not good. It just, there was nothing special about it. Like I have a whole bin of mascaras and like, there's a lot of things in there. There's some in there that I'm like, meh. That one didn't beat out any of the meh kind of ones. So it had to go. Oh, the next one is the Glow Shots from NYX. I was really into these for like a hot minute. And then I ordered a couple of different shades. And like, that's super pretty, right? It's fine, the formula's fine. It's not good and you can tell that the formula is cheaper because it kind of burned my eyelids and I do feel like I'm pretty sensitive to products. So maybe that's just a me kind of issue, but I was like, it's just, it's not worth keeping. Like I didn't go, oh, I love it. Oh, I have another liquid shadow, don't I? That's the brand, I've never, I don't even know that I've used this. I'm pretty sure I got it in like an Ipsy bag or maybe a BoxyCharm. The color is fine. Again, it, it's pretty. Next item we have is the the Milani. The, oh my God, I don't even know what these are called. The Milani, you know, they're glitter things. It's really dried out. 
Like, I don't know. Oh, do you see that? Like, it's chunking out. It's not it. It's gotta go. There's nothing wrong with it. I just didn't use it all. This is a Japanese lipstick. I was at the beauty supply store and they were like getting rid of this brand. And let me tell you, this was like such a good dupe for Kiss. Except the formula? It was weird. I don't know how to describe it. Like the formula felt like I was like, ooh, okay, Kiss. Like, okay, dupe. But like, the undertone was a lot more pinky orange as it like wore off and I just wasn't into that. Oh my God, I got this, I think. God, where did I get this? I believe in an Ipsy bag. It's the Glow, the Grande Glow Plumping Liquid Highlighter. I just don't think it ever plumped my face. Like, I just, I, how's it gonna do that, you know? Essence concealer that goes with the foundation is also trash. I like the concealer more than I did the foundation. Um, this is an e.l.f. mascara. I'm an idiot and I saw the packaging and was like, oh my god, it's their new roller lash dupe. No, no, it's, I, I got it backwards. That one's like meh. Oh my god, I hated this. We're getting into concealer territory. The Makeup Revolution IRL Concealer. I was really into the applicator. It smells like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It, it just wasn't that good. I just wasn't into it, didn't love it. Oh my God, I feel like this needs to go in like a second chance bin. The Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 21. I don't know, I just didn't like it. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure I like cried and all of the, like all of my under eye makeup was just like and came off. Oopsies. So it wasn't for me. Maybe it just didn't work with my skin, my prep. I don't know what it was, but we didn't agree. This is the Ulta Full Coverage Concealer. I don't even know if I put this on my face. No, I did. It was fine. It just wasn't that good. It feels like it's more of a gel consistency and like the color wasn't my favorite. And I was like, it's just not worth keeping. You know what I mean? Like I was like, meh. Oh my God, this is the NARS. I think the Creamy Radiance Concealer. I absolutely am getting rid of this because I got the mini. It was like 15 bucks. I hardly use it because one little dip, that's not enough concealer for one eye for me. And I got really mad while using it. I think I'm gonna put it back just because I'm, I wanna try it because that was everyone's go-to like cult favorite concealer. I do feel the plumping effect on my mouth because I don't know why, but I was like, boop, boop. These, you're gonna be like, how do you have an opinion on them? They're, okay, they're like hardly touched. I really liked these. These are the Wet n Wild color um, multi-sticks. Like, that's a nice amount of color payoff. These are only a few dollars. Super great. They're just expired and I just don't reach for them personally. This one's not even opened. I'm keeping that one. Listen, we're just in like the Barbie era. I'm gonna go see the Barbie movie. This is when it comes out, Friday? Friday, Saturday, Friday. Okay, this is the Beauty Bakery. It's a liquid lipstick. I'm not a liquid lipstick girly. The color is really pretty. The, it, let me tell you something. When this dries down, it's not coming off. You will have to literally punch it in the face and like harass it for weeks before it comes off. I love that in my head, I'm like, I wanna be like Tati Westbrook and review product. And then I sit here and I'm like, like literally like demon monster reviewing things and being like, I don't like it. Like if you're a girly who like uses a skin oil, Shape Tape's not for you. But this, this might be for you. <laughs> this item hurts my soul. It's the kimchi. Now let me tell you, if you've seen my TikTok, if you've seen me talk about cosmetics, kimchi can do no wrong. I, the blushes, eat them up. The powders, eat them up. The highlighters, eat them up. Concealer, sure not it to me. It's, it's not it to me, chief. I considered keeping it to like light and other things, but there's something about the texture of it. It just didn't like me. We didn't mix. I've tried to use it. it we just didn't get along. Ooh, okay, so I've literally never used this. Do we use it on camera right now? That feels like risky and like a terrible decision because like what if it's really bad? So this was an Ulta. I don't know about that. One of those like stocking stuffer items. Talc, mica, magnesium sterilized, soca, dimethicone. That's a lot of ingredients. 
Oh, actually that was pretty. Here's the thing, I don't need more blush. Okay, during the holidays, this would slay as a blush because it's very much giving like rosy, like I was just out and the cold, cold winter air kissed my face and this is what happened. Okay, so I bought like the She Glam Vault and like two of the collabs, I think they did one with Miss Darcy and one with Laura Lee. This is a highlighter, like a liquid highlighter. It's really, really pretty. Very flattering, doesn't enhance texture, at least it didn't on me. I just don't need it. Like, it's not the kind of highlighter I like. Like, this one's very much like, ah, uh, oh, like, listen. I wish they still made this. It's the Wet n Wild Crystal Collection. I like that. That's my kind of highlighter. Honestly, I think that's everything. Oh my God, I'm so excited because I can get rid of this shit now. <laughs> but if you like this video comment down below i will let you know more products that i do love instead of products that i don't love because content like this where i'm just like i don't like it Meh. it feels negative i'm a negative bitch so like what are you gonna do okay so if you like this video comment down below subscribe from where my face click the like button click the comment button and let me know like did you like any of these products what did you like about them what are some products that you've been like, this just isn't good. Like what are those, you know, I know you know, cause when you buy it you're so excited and then you rush back and like, let me put it on my face. And then you're like, why was this popular? Like, what did we like about it? Okay, love you, bye.